Hello, my name is Mary D, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary D Plays. In this video, I'm doing figure play, app, random exercise, riff. The random exercise and riff is sent to my phone five days a week, Monday through Friday. Today's random exercise is A, B minor, C sharp minor, D chords, and A. And today's random riff is Falls to the Wall. Okay, back to the random exercise. Read a little bit about. Apply an alternate strum, strum pattern with mutes to a progression of diatonic triads in the key of A. That is a mouthful. Okay, what are the chords? And of course they're bar chords. I'm not good at bar chords. Need to practice, I know. Okay, there's A, that's easy. Uh, B minor. C sharp minor. And B. And let's see. What are the tabs? They look simple enough. Drum pattern with mutes to pattern drum pattern with mutes oh, to a progress. Something's going on. Um two. All right, let's do a refresh. In this lesson, In this we'll apply an alternate strum pattern with mutes to a progression of diatonic triad bass shapes in the key of A. Here's how our exercise will sound. First, let's go over the chords used in this exercise. We're going to start on A or the one chord, then to B minor or the two minor, then to C sharp minor or the three minor, and then to D, the four chord. Let's walk through our one, two minor, three minor, and four chord progression with whole note rhythms. Starting on A, one, two, three, four, B minor, two, three, four, C sharp minor, three, four, and D, two, three, four. For our strum pattern, we're going to play an alternate strumming pattern with mutes. We're going to count one, two, and three, four. That was down, down, up, three, four. Let's play through the exercise repeated five times and end on an A chord with a whole note. Get set on A and I'll count us in. One, two, three, Four A, three, four B minor, three, four C sharp minor, three, four and D, three, four A, three, four B minor, three, four C sharp minor, three, four and D, three, four one chord, three, four two minor, three. Four, three minor, three, four, and four, three, four, one, two, and 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 three, four. Last time, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three. Four. Four and A. Nice job. Try creating your own unique progression using the diatonic chords in A. Have fun, and we'll see you later. Okay, go on and play that again. In this lesson, we'll apply an alternate strum Let's pattern over with to, to a progression tab. of diatonic triad bass shapes in the key of A. Here's how our exercise will sound. Thank you. 
first let's go over the chords used in this exercise. We're going to start on A or the one chord, then to B minor or the two minor, then to C sharp minor or the three minor, and then to D, the four chord. Let's walk through our one, two minor, three minor, and four chord progression with whole note rhythms. Starting on A, one, two, three, four, B minor, two, three, four, C sharp minor, three, four, and D, two, three, four. For our strum pattern, we're going to play an alternate strumming pattern with mutes. We're going to count one, two, and three, four. That was down, down, up, three, four. Let's play through the exercise repeated five times and end on an A chord with a whole note. Get set on A and I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. A, three, four. B minor, three, four. C sharp minor, three, four. And D, three, four. A, three, four. B minor, three, four. C sharp minor, Nice job! Try creating your own unique progression using the diatonic chords in A. Have fun, and we'll see you later. Definitely need to work on my bar chords. All right, moving on to the next. Oh, to um, uh, the random riff. Okay, get ready to rock in this 1980s metal classic that contribute to the formation of speed and thrash metal. By the end of this lesson, you would have learned palm muting, syncopated strumming, double stops, and eighth note strumming. And here are the tabs. Let's dive right into the riff for Balls to the Wall by Accept. It features several double stops, some syncopation, and palm muting, and it sounds like this. Let's check out the progression of notes and chords first. We're going to start on the fifth fret with a double stop, and these double stops are going to be on the A and D strings. So we have a fifth fret double stop, and then we hit the E, open. Then we have second fret double stop, an open double stop, which is the open A and D strings. Back to the second fret, and then we hit the E two times. Back to the fifth fret, an open E, second fret, an open double stop. Hit the E three times. Back to the fifth fret, open E, second fret, open, second fret again, once on the E. Then we go up to the fifth fret, sixth fret, and seventh fret, all double stops. So let's take a look at those chords from over the shoulder. We have our double stop here on the A and B strings, fifth fret, two open, back to two, fifth, two open, fifth, two open, two, five, six, seven. Now with our strumming hand, let's look at the rhythm and the picking bar by bar. On bar one, we're going to be palm muting those E's on the and of one and four and. So that's going to be one and two and three and four and. 
all down strums. Now on bar two, we're going to be palm muting on the and of one, the and of three, and four and. So that's going to be one and two and three and four and. Bar three, and of one, and and of four. One and two and three and four and. Then bar four, we have a half note into a quarter note triplet, which is going to consist of a quarter note and a half note. So that's going to be one and two and three and four and. Now the first three bars repeat, then we have a whole note tied to a half note tied to an eighth note on that fifth fret double stop. And this chord holds until the verse. So let's play this together. I'll count you in. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Again, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three. And that's the riff. Okay, going to play this again. Then go full tab. Let's dive right into the riff for Balls to the Wall by Accept. It features several double stops, some syncopation, and palm muting. And it sounds like this. Let's check out the progression of notes and chords first. We're going to start on the fifth fret with a double stop, and these double stops are going to be on the A and D strings. So we have a fifth fret double stop, and then we hit the E, open. Then we have second fret double stop, an open double stop, which is the open A and D strings. Back to the second fret, and then we hit the E two times. Back to the fifth fret, an open E, second fret, and open double stop three times, back to the fifth fret, open E, second fret, open, second fret again, once on the E, then we go up to the fifth fret, sixth fret, and seventh fret, all double stops. So let's take a look at those chords from over the shoulder. We have our double stop here on the A and D strings, fifth fret, two, open, back to two, fifth, two, open, fifth, two, strumming hand, let's look at the rhythm and the picking bar by bar. On bar one, we're going to be palm muting those E's on the and of one and four and. So that's going to be one and two and three and four and. All down strums. Now on bar two, we're going to be palm muting on the and of one, the and of three, and four and. So that's going to be one and two and three and four and. Bar three, and of one, and and of four. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Then bar four, we have a half note into a quarter note triplet, which is going to consist of a quarter note and a half note. So that's going to be one, and two, and three, and four, and. Now the first three bars repeat, then we have a whole note tied to a half note tied to an eighth note on that fifth fret double stop. And this chord holds until the verse. So let's play this together. I'll count you in. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, again, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three. And that's the riff. I'm going to practice on my own here. Thank you. 
Now let's go and practice this mode. going to play it again. Yeah, <laughs> definitely need to work on that. Okay, let's see if I do it on my own. this one more time. Still need to work on those double stops. 